Hello. I am the narrator. Before this episode starts, George will be talking about a very unique cactus. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Good morning, everybody. My name is George, George, and today we're going to be talking about the Pelosipharma as a Lepharmus. Now, the Pelosipharma is just a normal little house plant. This cactus can grow about four inches tall, and whenever it grows flowers in the late spring to early summer, it grows pink flowers. Um, uh, there's, there's something else I was supposed to say. Hang on, give me, give me a minute. I'll give you a hint. Grooves. Oh, you, you're right. Now, you see all those groove type things that are on the f cactus? Well, those are actually its needles. The Pel the Pelosifara cactus also has other names like the Hatchet cactus and Woodlouse cactus. There's also the, uh, the, the other name. It just starts with a P. It's called. Peyote. You know, you pay the coyote? Yes, the peyote. For this plant to grow and to last, it needs full sunlight to, um, uh, to partial shade. Partial shade. Now, this plant um, also does not need a lot of water either. The hatchet cactus is a plant that likes to stay in cool weather. The palosifara is a plant that grows a flower or two every year. And the needles on this cactus are called what were they called? Mm. Typical. Oh, yes, thank you. They're called typicals. The typicals are actually where this plant stores water as well. This plant is not one to keep outdoors, and it was originally found in Mexico. So, unfortunately, this video has come to an end. If you are fascinated by this cactus, there are links in the description that go more into detail about the information I found about it. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, have a good day and good night. This is the end of the video. End of the video. End of the video. Pew pew. End of the video. End of the video. Do this is the end of the video. Pew pew. Pew pew. End of the video, end of the video, end of the video, oh oh.